What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a video in Stadium Goods in New York City. Stadium Goods has invited me out there to film a video in their store and we're going to be shopping for some of my dream sneakers. Now if you didn't watch the last video, I was already in New York and I'm back home now but I'm putting out the footage from it now because I've taken the time to edit it. So this clip was filmed after that. You can see I got this all fire remote suitcase if you didn't watch that last video. But I'm excited to show you guys what we got in New York City and this whole video of us flying to New York and all that kind of stuff. We got some great footage. Keep an eye out for a few minutes into this video. You guys are going to see me and Stadium Goods are giving away a pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1s in any size. The rules for that giveaway will be in the description, but we'll show them also in a little bit, a little bit later when that point in the video comes up. But again, guys, do not miss out. This is your one chance to win a Travis Scott Jordan 1 for free, absolutely free, shipped to anywhere in the world. Wait for that. Now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit more recap footage of us in New York City, showing you guys the Stadium Goods store. We got to show the stock room, all kinds of cool stuff. Let's go ahead, flash show to New York City. All right, guys, so we are in the streets of Soho right now. We are heading over to do a shoot at Stadium Goods today. What we're going to be doing is buying some of my Dream and Grail sneakers. Stadium Goods is having me out to do a video in their store before it opens, so I'm very excited to go over there. First, we have to get coffee before we go ahead and do this so I get some more energy, so let's head to Starbucks. ready to go. Stadium Goods is right around the corner. We're right in the middle of like the Soho area. It's early in the morning, so we're gonna be going there before they open for about two hours. We have a little bit of free ring to film now. I've got a bunch of stuff I wanna show you guys. They've actually been pulling some of the specific items for me to show you, which is going to be the most expensive items in the store, as well as I'm gonna be shopping. This is not a sneaker shopping video. This is me going to find some of the top grails that I've always wanted and have not been able to get my hands on. So that's what we're gonna be doing once we go over to the store. So let's head towards Stadium Goods. All right, guys, so now I'm picking up the vlog camera. Nick is behind me with the gimbal. He's gonna be getting different shots we're gonna be switching back and forth we're right around the corner of the store they're about to open up and I'm very excited to see what we can get because there's a lot of stuff that I have not been able to find in my size I've gotten them and not in my size but I can finally get them in my personal size so I can keep and wear and have like the ultimate dream collection that I've always wanted Stadium Goods now. It is early, like 9 a.m. And the reason we're over here is because they're letting us do a shoot in here before the day actually starts so we can actually get some good content on a bunch of people running around. So we're going to be showing you guys a bunch of different things. I've been figuring out what some interesting things to show you guys would be, so I'm going to get in there. Guys, we are now here in Stadium Goods. Look at this insane inventory of sneakers right here. We are going to be going through and finding some pairs of sneakers that I have wanted for such a long time that I have not been able to get my size that I've just wanted for forever. And we're gonna be finally able to get them. Stadium Goods let us come here before opening and we get to do the whole store to a shoot to ourselves. So I am so thankful and so excited to do that. We got so much to show you. We also have a very special treat for you. So come this way, I wanna show you guys. You guys know I love to do giveaways. I love to give back. I currently have them going on. But I teamed up with Stadium Goods to give away a pair of sneakers that uh, I think a lot of you guys might like. And it might just be in this case right here. So let me go ahead and lift this off and show you what we're giving away right here. Let me pull this off. I've teamed up with Stadium Goods to give away a pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1s right here. These are going for an insane amount. They're only going to go up in value. The rules for that giveaway are you have to follow Stadium Goods on Instagram. You have to be following me on Instagram. You subscribe to my YouTube and subscribe to Stadium Goods YouTube. Then leave a comment down below your shoe size and where you are located. We'll be picking a winner in a few weeks' time. The exact date will be in the description of this video so you guys can see who won the pair but comment your side this is such a fire shoe i 
have two pairs now because I know that these are just gonna be something that I'm gonna wear for so many years to come. We wanted to team up to give back to you guys for an insane pair of sneakers, so now let's go ahead and show you what we're gonna be getting into as far as the sneakers that we're looking for, some of the grills that I've been wanting for. This is one of my grills right here, but we got some new stuff that you guys might not be expecting. All right, guys, so we have access to this entire store here, as you guys can see, but I wanna kind of break down to you guys. You guys know that I get a lot of different shoes in from Mystery Box. I go on hunts for sneakers around my city, but through that search, I get a lot of stuff that maybe not might be my size or like, you know, I've gotten rid of that I regret getting, but there are actually all the pairs that I want to get that I've actually, I've been thinking about this a little bit, obviously. I wanna make sure that they're the shoes that I actually want, that's something that's going to build up my collection, something that's gonna hold its rarity, that's gonna hold its value throughout my collection, whether if I wear it or not. So I've actually picked out three or four pairs already, but I wanna go through and kind of talk to you about some other ones that I might have picked or I wanted to pick, but I didn't end up picking for whatever reason. And then we'll show you guys exactly what we got that I'm gonna be picking, which is kind of behind me. And I wanna show you guys the most expensive pieces that they have for sale at this store. We have a few of them, not all of them, because some of them are like massive, but we're gonna show you some of those because I just think it's really cool to see that kind of stuff. See like what is those highest priced items as well as you might be able to show you guys a stock room. So we're gonna kind of try to finesse that, we'll see. This is called the trophy case. Now the trophy case holds some of the most exclusive and rare sneakers that most people would want. So I've been to Stadium Goods before, I came here a year and a half ago, and you walk up to this and it just is an aura. You see it and you're like, well, I wanna buy a pair out of here. Like I said, there's a few pairs that I actually passed up on that I kinda wanted to show you guys why I didn't go for that specific pair before I show you guys exactly what pairs I'm gonna be getting. So if we walk over here, we have some of the off-white Nikes. Now we're gonna open this up. One of the main pairs that I was planning on, get, or two main pairs I was planning on getting, but I actually ended up deciding not to. So first one is going to be this off-white Nike. Nike EU right here. You guys know I have the UNC's, one of my favorite Off-White Jordan ones. The Chicago's I just recently got. This pair here is one, I don't know why I have not got my hands on this pair, but this is one that you might see something in the future. We might have gotten them, and that's why we're not showing you here. You, you have to wait and see. This pair right here, and then the Off-White Nike Presto. The reason I passed up on this is because you guys know when I talk about the Prestos, for some reason I just don't feel like they look good on my feet. And if I got these, I feel like I might not wear them. And I want to get something that I really, I want to wear. I want to get something that I'm genuinely going to wear and wear all the time. And I'll actually pull out one of the sneakers that I'm actually going to be getting that I picked out. That is going to be the off-white Nike Serena Williams Blaze. I've had the all the other colorways of this shoe right here. For some reason, I have not found a store that has my size in these. And I'm finally finding one and I'm, for some reason, the color puff, the pink, the purple, the Volt tag. Like, for, for some reason, this, every time I see this shoe, I'm just like, this is insane. So this is one of the three or four that we're going to be getting. You guys know I love the Blazer silhouette. I wanted to show you a little sneak peek, not show you everything, but there's definitely one more pair somewhere in this case that uh, I'm going to be getting as well, but I don't want to show you that just yet. So the next pair or pairs is going to be coming out of this case right here. One of the more recent collaborations or one of the more recent sneakers that have come out is one that was really crazy in value for a while. And then they kind of, after the release, they went down a little bit, making them a little bit more accessible, which I actually enjoy. And that is the Nike Sakai in the green colorway. Now they have the blue colorway. A lot of people like those. This is my favorite. That bright, you guys, for some reason, I love bright colors. You guys know this. This is going to be one of the second pairs. I showed you one, showed you two. There might be a third right here. We might be getting the blazers as well but since we're already getting a blazer, I'm not 100%, but that's two. There's one more that I don't want to show you guys yet, but I want you guys to guess right now what you think the third pair is going to be. It's going to be the most expensive pair out of the three as well. So leave a comment down below what you think about that. But this is one that I love. I did the colors. I think this is going to be a really great summer shoe. That chunky back right there. I did get a pair recently that was a different colorway, not my size. And like I said, I'm going to be getting a pair of them in New York. This is what we're doing. I don't see myself wearing this colorway as much because of the colors are a little bit different from my color palette. So that's why we're going with something like this. The double tongues, the green, the orange. showing you two different pairs. I want to show you guys the next. What are some of the most expensive pieces that they sell at this store? Now they pulled a few pieces that I want to show you guys. I got about four or five pieces over there. So uh, let's head over there. They all actually are three of them have Louis Vuitton in them and one has Supreme. Three of the other have Louis Vuitton Supreme. I, we'll show you guys. We got them right here. I want to show you just some of the more exclusive things that are things that you're not going to come by that often. These are not being purchased by me. These are the most expensive items that they have. First off, you guys can tell what this is. Now I might be changing my mind. 
Well, I've never seen this in person, so this might. Oh, the Supreme Ramoa, and this is the check bag. This is such a gorgeous suitcase right here. You guys can't tell the all red on there. I would be scared to use this at the airport because if you check this, they're gonna be like slamming it, sliding it, and all that stuff. But this red is just so. It matches my fit right now. Supreme Ramoa was one of the craziest collabs. They have the carry-on and the check. This is the check bag, which I would obviously love to own, but this is not something that I would see myself using that much because I'd be too scared that somebody's just gonna finesse it. But the fact that they made this collab, these are going for insane amounts of money. So next three up are going to be Louis Vuitton items. This one right here, I believe, ooh, is the Louis Vuitton Supreme jersey. This is another item that I actually have never seen in person. You guys can see it's good. The denim, I think it's a baseball jersey and the Supreme LV logo, my crazy. I feel like I've seen J Balvin or something in this. This is another absolutely absurd piece. It's so cool that they came out with this. The Supreme Louis Vuitton collab, I feel like it's kind of remarkable for the fact that a skateboard company that originated as a skateboard company collaborated with Louis Vuitton, one of the top tier designer handbag leather good companies in the world. And this is an item that came from it, a jersey that is. This is beautiful though. This is very beautiful. We got another piece right here from the Supreme Louis Vuitton collection, I believe. Ooh, yes, this is the camo backpack. There's a few different variations in the backpack. There's a leather one that is black, leather one that is red. I actually have the black one over in the case over there. This is the camo in the Supreme Louis Vuitton. You can see the embossed Supreme right there. I believe they made a denim jacket, denim pants in this same print. And there's a, probably a few other pieces, but this many Supreme Louis Vuitton items in one place to me is crazy because in Atlanta, there is not one store that has, I don't think there's any store that has any Supreme Louis Vuitton. Cameraman, can you recall? Have we ever seen any Supreme Louis Vuitton anywhere? I mean, if we did, it was a very small piece. It's probably like sunglasses, but I still don't think we've seen that. This is a really crazy piece too. This is a more subtle piece. It doesn't scream Supreme Louis Vuitton like the other one. You can see some of the detailing on here, Supreme LV embossed in kind of that tonal color. Got the gold Louis Vuitton right there and then the zipper with the LV on it. And then lastly, we have a very puffy item here. And I sure know what this is. This is the, oh, guys. The Supreme LV Parka in the, I have never seen this before. I've seen the blue denim one. I think Blazendary has the blue denim one. This is the camo green. Look at the fur. Open that up, you can see the inside. Got the patch on the inside as well, the orange. This is crazy. This is super soft. So another one of the camo, I think that's two of those are the camo and then you have the red denim. So I believe they had the red denim, the blue denim, camo denim right here. I did not even, I honestly thought this was going to be the blue one. I did not know that they came out with this color camo one. So you guys probably have seen some beautiful shots of these, but we have to do that now. Now because those are some of the top items. Oh wait, there's a pair of shoes in there too that I'm gonna show you guys. If we open this up here, I believe these are Jordan 11. I believe this is a Derek Jeter Jordan 11. You can see you got the two on the back there. Price right there on the uh, tag. Check this out, 50. Got the suede blue. I have not seen many people have these. I feel like only people that have these would be like DJ Khaled or something crazy. Pretty heavy, it's a size it's 10 and a half. It's your size. It's my size, yeah. 10 and a half. You won't. Another one right here, Jordan 4 m and You guys have seen these before. These are at 20. And then we have the Art Basel pack up here. A beautiful pack, 4,000 each. The thing that's crazy to me is that this is not that different from like a Jordan ones that have been releasing. Like they, it's just like, it's just got that teal. It's not like patent leather. It's just, you know, that regular leather from Jordan. It's not even like crazy quality leather, but the fact that the rarity of from being the Art Basel is, is what makes it crazy. Imagine wearing both of these together, eight racks. Here is that other backpack that I was telling you guys about, that Supreme Louis Vuitton in the black leather. See right there, the black leather got the Supreme embossed on there, LV. They made this in red as well, which is a really cool backpack. I think they make the regular version of it still in different colors, but obviously it's not gonna be the Supreme collaboration. Now is the time to show you guys the three pairs that I ended up deciding on. We've talked about two. There's one other one that I finally, uh, I've talked about for so long, getting in my size so I can actually wear them. So let's go ahead and show you guys, first off, like I described before, they actually are in this case. This is the Nike Sakai in the green colorway. One of the more recent drops. Again, like I said, the cutlers, I've, I've talked about it enough. I don't have to talk about it too much, but you guys know this is my favorite colorway out of all of them. That is going to be one that's going to be rocked. The second pair that we talked about before was going to be the Nike Off-White Serena Blazers. Another beautiful, the, the gradient colors, everything about it. Talked about it again. We're not gonna go too in depth. This laces, I didn't even know that these laces came with it. Lastly, you might get a little peaky bit from the side. This is one, if if you're a viewer of this channel, you should know that I, I've wanted these for so long. You know I'm a big fan of cause. You guys know I have all the cause figurines. I'm a big fan of art. I'm an art collector from different people in Atlanta. So this is one, I do not have an, a cause piece yet. This is a shoe that when it came out, I tried very hard to get and I was unable to get. We're gonna pull it out now and you guys might be able to tell there's two colorways, but it comes with this dust bag with the uh, eyes on it, the X'd out. You get this nice little uh, tag here from the Creative Minds of Cause and Jordan brand in my last video i think the last video before this i got these in a size seven obviously not close enough for me to fit he caused jordan four size 
11 or 10 and a half. The materials all around, they take it all the way down to the midsole. You got the translucent outsole with the different cause things underneath. Again, this is one that, th this is something that I think I needed to have in you know my collection for long term. Finally able to get my own personal size so that I can rock these because you know I try to wear every sneaker that I own. If I don't, I end up selling it. So I need to put them on as soon as I get them. But these are the three right here. If you guys had to pick three sneakers, three sneakers to come into the store and buy, what, what do you think you would get? What would you guys end up with? I wanna see that in the comments down below as well, along with your you know giveaway comment. You can make that separate. So what do you guys think? Are these three solid pickups? These are ones that if you know me, you've known that these are two that I tried to get my hands off for so long. Now we got them. And this is more recent one, so it's not like I've been waiting for it forever, but this is just a cool sneaker that I unique differentness of it. Look. All right, we just finished up. We got the three pairs here. Now they're going to ship the pairs to us because again, we have so many shoes from this trip that we have to end up shipping some of them out back home. So we're gonna be having these back home. We'll show you them in the completed collection in uh, a few days. All right, so now we're in the stock room. You guys can see, I thought I had a lot of shoes. I thought I had a lot of stuff in my studio. This is nuts. Wall to wall floor stand. There's multiple aisles. Let's just stop real quick, see what we can find. We found a Yeezy 700. We got a blazer mid right here in the, what color is this? All Hallows Eve colorway. Literally, and we got some human races. We got Yeezy, Yeezy, Zoom Soldier, Human Race, Air Force. There, this is nuts. Like you guys see from the shots, like I just can't keep walking. And there's like tunnels, like look. <laughs> just down a hole another i feel like i'm about to have sneakers tumble on me this is so absolutely insane this is crazy this is my first time ever in a stock room actually like this at, at this size we got a uh, amex 97s we've got travis ones in my size right there i need, uh, need to cop those guys i'm here to end the video in atlanta again now fedex is kind of screwing me over so this package has been pending for three days it is now actually monday i came back from new york a week from saturday so it's been nine days now the shoes were shipped out five days ago FedEx has been marked as pending for the past four days. And you guys know when I end videos, I like to actually have the items because I want to show that it wasn't just me going to the store saying I'm buying something and then not doing it because I buy every single item that I do with these videos. That's why sometimes these videos take a little bit longer. It's been a while since I posted it because I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting and it still says pending. I called them. They said they don't know what's going on. So I just have to kind of sit and wait. And at this point, I've been sitting on this video for a while and I want to put it out for stadium goods and they said I can post it without having the shoes. So what I'm going to do is this week when they come in, hopefully they do. I'm going to post it on my Instagram story just to show you you guys i did buy the stuff i don't like to act like i'm buying something and not do it because i like to go off for these videos you guys know that i spent a crazy amounts of money so thank you guys for watching thank you to stand because for having me enter that jordan one travis scott giveaway because that was so much fun i'll see you guys next time this is harrison signing out